Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, Jade, and I'm back in build a -Boat. And I said a couple videos before um, I was going to make a fire sword tutorial, and so that's what this video is. Uh, it's a fire sword tutorial. But I want to do a speed run... <laughs> speed build with it, because... Um, I'm a builder, I just don't showcase any of the builds. My friend brought that up recently, I was like, huh, why don't I do that? So, I'm doing it. And now, just a quick reminder, please do hit, hit the like button and subscribe. Just, just please. And also, I don't mention this in like any of my videos, I always forget. But, please join my Discord server. I, I keep, I plug it in, in the description, but no one goes down there, and so no one joins. I've gotten a single subscriber in that so you know please do join the discord server on to the speed build So this is the katana, the fi final results, and it looks pretty good, I gotta say that. Something you'll notice right off the bat, well two things you'll notice right off the bat, is that this is a lot heavier than the sword I'm about to show you, and also I added a different fire effect. I just wanted to make things look cooler. So instead of the blade being made of fire, it's fire spiraling around the, the blade. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to say about the sword, so um, on to the tutorial now place a block and another block and one more place a chair sit in the chair now open your plus menu thing and change your rotate tool to 45 merge level to one or red or whatever but you do that place a block like this now change it to 15 rotate now rotate it four four times and place a block delete this one turn on your match rotation place it there delete the outer block Take your scale tool and change it to 0.2 scale, like this. Skeleton to your where your hand is. Doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, there you go. See that? It's touching my hand inside of the palm. Now make it so it meets your hand. So let's, let's see, does that work? You know this works. And keep it like that. But having it the hilt, is that what it's called? The hilt closer to your index finger will make it look better. Now, place a block on the top of the handle. Change your scale to 0.5, now scale it down. Now again, scale it to 0.2 and scale it down. Now change your scale to 0.9. It's not a preset thing, so you gotta manually type that in. Scale that in. Now change your scale to 0.4 and scale that in, like that and that. Change your rotate to 45. Change it to 45 on the hilt end like that and again like that on the back change your scale to 1.7 scale down there and on the bottom as well change your scale to 0.9 scale it in scale it in scale it in scale it in now turn your scale to 0.2 and scale it into the end corner things now i recommend saving just just because in case you lose it okay and for this part you don't actually need to be in the sitting so you can just get out now place any block you want i don't really care place it on the top of the hilt now change your scale to four and scale it back and then also in now change your rotate to 90 i'll now just uh make sure that it, the fire is pointing out 
scale it in one, scale it back one. And now place another fire. Scale it in, scale it back. And again, like I said, repeat it. You can do this fire trick thing however long you want to how big your sword you wants to be. But for me, I'm gonna go for like six. So let's do another one there, there, there. Actually, yeah, I'll stop at five. Delete the plastic and make all the torches invisible. Notice how there's a gap in between the blade or the fire and the hilt thing. You can leave it where like the flame is detached from it or add the flame in back. I'm gonna leave it out. And for color, I recommend black. You can't touch the hilt when there's a torch on it. Um, just zoom in, in inside of the torch to paint the handle. Now, once you've done your, your paint job, uh, zoom in again so you can place a block right there. Scale it out and then in. And so you do this so you can uh, place glue there. Okay, so now um, just save it, I guess. Now, if you want to use it, just place glue on the wood or the block that you used for that. Delete it. Delete the seeds. Delete all this garbage. Take your screwdriver. Turn this invis. Make it all unanchored and collision off. And boom, you got you got your sword, dude. Isn't that isn't that just it's fire? Isn't that ironic? It's fire. I'm hilarious. Okay, um, yes, it is a super pro sword. I got it. Oh yeah. Also, I forgot to mention this video. Um, if you want to use the sword like an actual sword, you can um take one of the given swords that are uh, you can find or buy. You can use that. It's uh, compatible with the sword. And um, that's gonna do it for this video. Like I said before. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs>